Welcome to FSU Broncos. I'm Kiana Smith, and this will be your Broncos on Blast Sports Report. Women's basketball was working on a four-game winning streak until a second, literally a second clinching game against Benedict College here in the Capel Arena. They entered the matchup versus Benedict College after having defeated Virginia State, John C. Smith University, Shaw University, and Bowie State University. The Broncos fell by one point in the last few seconds of the game. Chantel Bennett led the endeavor with 16 points, 5 rebounds. Aminata Johnson and Hyman, Katisha Hyman that is, tied with 13 points. Aminata Johnson added 5 rebounds and Katisha Hyman added a 50% average from behind the 3-point arc. London Thompson had 7 points, a tray ball, 100% from the stripe and 4 rebounds. In the 4th quarter, the teams tied twice, once at 40 and again at 55. With about one minute remaining to play, Benedict College misses two crucial free throws. Broncos find Hyman in the paint for a plus two layup, 53-54. The score is now eight seconds left to play, and Chantel Bennett gets the steal but misses the layup. Jada Faison secures a critical offensive rebound and is fouled by Benedict College. She misses the first, makes the second. The score is now 53-55. Benedict College makes the layup, and we're tied again. A foul from the Broncos, and Benedict College goes to the stripe. One good free throw stood the test of time, and the Broncos finished behind 56-55. Women play Wednesday at 5.30 in the first game of a doubleheader versus Virginia State here in the Capel Arena. The Broncos of the men's basketball team are into their groove, working in the division and working on their winning streak with three games under their belt, having beat Shaw University, Bowie State, and now Carver 91-62. Jalen Seegers led the charge with 20 points. Four rebounds. Ty McLean, 12 points, four rebounds. And Raymond Pratt finished with 11 points. Marquise Crutchfield had the most rebounds for the Broncos with nine and eight points. The Broncos defense held their leading score to 13 points and four rebounds. The field goal percentage as a team to 39.3% and their three-point average to 37.5 while capitalizing on offense with 43 points in the paint and 39 from their bench. The men... Play tomorrow following the women's game as part of the doubleheader against Virginia State at 7.30 right here at home. Women's track and field is off to a great start after competing in their first meet of the year Sunday in Winston-Salem at the JDL Fast Track College kickoff. Jernick Brooks finished first in the 200 meters final with a 24.98 run time. Shanae Ingram completes it second in the 600 meter final in 1 minute and 40 seconds. Ingram's Twin sister, Shania, came in hot at second place with a time of a minute and 40 seconds and 28 milliseconds. Another Bronco in first place, Carisha Leonard, with two minutes, 22 seconds, and 44 milliseconds in the 800 meters final. Shay Stewart came in third for the long jump field event with a leap of 18 feet and 3.75 inches. Minutes ahead of their competition, the 4x4 relay team, Shanae Ingram, Jernick Brooks, Maya Johnson, and Michaela Jonas finished in 3 minutes, 57 seconds, and 4 milliseconds. I don't even think I can ride my bike as fast as those ladies. Their next race will be at the Captain's Invitational at 9 a.m. on January 24th in Newport News, Virginia. This has been your Broncos on Blast Sports Report. You're now tuned into FSU Broncos Sports Network.